already know, Prepper Pam here. Um, I'm going to be trying to can green beans. I just picked a whole big bag of green beans out in the garden. Um, I'll try to get it done, and I'll try to get this can and posted today. I've got four of my grandkids under my feet right now, so I do not know how this is even going to turn out, if I even turn it out at all. Anyway, so here's all my supplies. Here's this. And here's a couple of them running amok right here. So I will keep you posted. Okay, Grandpa took the kids out to the pool, so now I can have a breather. We have them for three weeks, so we got to... Keep them occupied. Anyway, um, I just got three little pint jars today. Um, that's about what I pick every day. So, you know, three jars add up. Um, anyway, I'm going to cold pack the green beans. You can cold pack them or hot pack them. Uh, cold pack, you just wash your beans, snap them. They have to have a nice snap if they're kind of, you know, I don't know, just marshmallowy or, you know, not, you don't hear a snap, don't use them. Just use nice, fresh, fresh green beans. Anyway, you snap them, you put them in your jars, and then you boil water, and you put them, you pour the water over the beans. I do it to about here, about an inch from the top. Uh, to hot pack, people like to blanch them for a couple minutes. I have high altitude. I'm, I'm high altitude. I'm over 4,000 feet, so I have to have longer pressure canning time anyway. And um, the, as little as possible for cooking my beans is what I'm what is what I like. So I, I always cold pack. I think it's much easier. Just clean the beans, beans, put them in the jar. Boom, you're done. You know, the, I don't like the blanching. If you know, making my life easier. We have a farm, we sell our items, we have honey, we have animals. As, as little as I'm in the kitchen, I, I'm happy. So I'm going to boil the water and put it over the beans and uh, get my seals and rings ready. All right, I boiled the water and I put it in the jars. <clears throat> it's just, this one's a little full. I think I might take some out. Let me see here. Yeah, I think that's okay. That's okay. Get your air out. This one could use a little bit more water. I'll add a little bit more water to that one too. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to use my little handy dandy magnet. Then on there, right there, and one more. Okay, the ring's on. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Okay. Okay, so um. I always add a little bit of vinegar, maybe a quarter cup. Um, if I don't add the vinegar, my jars come out looking ashy. Um, this is, I, I, I don't know how much the measure is. I, uh, when I first got this, there was a little line, and I've used it so much, I can just, it's just got a black line, so I know where to add the water. But check your own um, pressure canner instructions for you. Normally, when I don't do a full load, I always um, fill jars with water to take up space, and that way I'll and I keep the jars on hand, and it's just sterilized water in case of you know medical emergency emergency or anything. You need sterile water. You always have a few jars, but today I don't. I have enough jars of sterilized water, so I'm just going to do these three. I know it's a small batch. Um, but I'm, I'm just going to do de these three here. Okay, so I put the lid on. Uh, I have my temperature on. I, it's pretty close to high. So what I'm waiting to do now, I'm waiting for pressure to build up in my canner. So steam is going to come out of here. You want this to vent a full stream of steam for 10 minutes. Once that happens... This will pop up and you put on the rattler. 
So for my elevation, which is 42, about 4,200, um, I'm going to do 15 pounds of pressure, and it's using this weighted gauge. If you have a dial gauge and your 4,000 elevation, you're going to want to turn it to 13. But for my elevation, it's 15 pounds of pressure, and pint jars are 20 minutes, and quart jars are 25. All right, this is starting to vent. Oops, can't see it. There we go. So this has been going for 10 minutes, full stream of steam. That popped up, so now I can add my rattler. Now I'm going to wait. You can, you can gently dab this excess water. It'll dehydrate, but whatever. I just, I'm a, I like having it out of the way. So anyway, what you're gonna do now is wait for the pressure gauge. Now for my elevation, it was 15 pounds. So I'm gonna wait for this to get to the 15. Whoops. So once it gets to the 15, then I start my timer <clears throat> for 20 minutes. Now, this is the same time if you do cold pack or hot pack. It's the same amount of time. 20 minutes for pints, 25 minutes for quarts. So whatever you do, it doesn't matter. It's the same time. So this is starting to rise. And I'm going to wait for it to get to the 15. You have to wait for it to get to 15 pounds of pressure. Once it does that, I will start my timer and I will turn my stove down. I know on my stove, and I've done this so long, I know that it's at number six to hold at 15 pounds. Your stove is different, but me, I just know it's automatically a six to stay at 15. Okay, so it's reached 15 pounds of pressure. I turned my stove down to six, and I have my timer on. Now, while we're waiting, I went to Walmart, oh, I don't know how long ago, a month or so ago. They had a lot of these Mrs. Wages, and they had some, um, let's see, they had some, oh, they had some of these, ball, salsa. Some of them had the price, this one's, you use Tomotillos. Some of them have these prices on them. I asked them, whoops, not that. I asked them if I bought everything they had, what price could they give me? They gave me a dollar. So they put all these in a bag for me. All these cost me a dollar. I was so excited, but I did not want to show it. So I've got, I got dill pickles, spiced peaches, salsa, sweet pickle relish, berry pie filling, more sweet pickle. These you use the tomatillos. So, yeah, I was just tickled pink. So I'm going to be making, um, let's see, where was the one? I'm going to be making um, some salsa today. My husband likes hot salsa, and I am a big baby. I don't even like pepper. So anyway, I'm going to be using one of these to make some hot salsa. So um, anyway, always check your discounted section. This is what I'm going to be making today. Always check your section. Okay, green beans are all green beans are all done. Beautiful. Like I said, I only had enough for three pints today, but tomorrow, tomorrow I'll have like another two or three pints, and they add up. Look how beautiful they look. Yeah. Okay. If any of you have any questions, email me. Prepper Pam out.